Are any of you guys, uh, actual military? Oh god, no. I'm just a sweaty gamer in my mom's basement. Yeah, same here. Alright, so... I played that round with y'all, just because I wanted to see, like, what was up. So, uh, I'm in 4th Infantry Division. I'm a point man. Uh, just moved to designated marksman. And, uh, you guys got good terminology. But a lot of things that you guys are executing are a little off. Um, and just to bring that level of immersion for you, like, I want to correct some of those things. Um, I'm ready. No, oh, no, Lord. no, I'm not, sh I'm not, I'm not shitting on you, but, you oh, know. No, no, no. I said, I said, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, so, first thing, first, like, if we go over here to this, uh, this double door here for the fucking whatever it is. So earlier I saw you guys practicing a stack where you were doing a two gun, watching trying to trying to go both ways. For this area, since this is a very we, we call this basically like a glass house almost. It's a super cut and dry area where it's super like simple. But you guys can do this really well. But what happens? Men start getting real confused because they go to turn left in a corner or turn right, and it's like boom, they're in a fucking wall, and then they instantly sprint back to the right and try to clear the other corner and act like they didn't go the wrong way. The beautiful thing about room clearing, uh, being point man for a while, is that you're never wrong as point man. Like, we all know that. Point man is always right. They don't fuck up. Their decision is the one to make. If you go left and you end up in a short room and there's a wall or a corner and it's real fucking tight, it's not your job to then bounce back across the doorway and try to move up the other wall. Just continue moving up that pathway and giving your guys space behind you to go off of you. Um, if you fuck up, just get out of the doorway. Someone will make the correction for you, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I heard earlier as well you guys were talking about fire team leads being point men. Um, I don't know if other doctrine that's wrong, but at least in what I've learned over the course <laughs> of time I've been in, um, that's super wrong. Um, your most expendable guy is typically your point man, as I was for a long time. <laughs> but... Uh, you, you want the guy who's positive and knows how to read a room before going in to be able to make that decision if he wants to button hook, does he want to flow, right? What is the path of least resistance? So for a team leader to be in front, you got a lot going through your mind. You're trying to see, is this room big enough for me to call flashbang? Do I need to flood? Do I need to get a nade in there? What kind of space am I working with? As a point man, your, your only concern should be, I'm holding this fucking door and when they tell me to go, which way am I going to go? You're, that's all you're analyzing. You're not taking the time to decide, I need a flashbang up, I need three men to do this, nothing like that. So maybe consider switching up your positions in your stack a little bit, and it might make it easier for you to control your actual fire team. Um, aside from that, everything else was pretty simple, right? Shoot your fucking target when you see it. Don't shoot your friend. I mean, that's pretty fucking easy. Um... You just got to work on that, that flow, right? I mean, we've all probably seen some nerdy shit, red, red handbooks, right? We know that if first man goes left, second man goes right, third man follows first man, fourth man follows second man, et cetera, et cetera. Make that space. Um, even I fucked up on this last round. I was a uh, third man when we were stacking the outside door. And once we actually got inside and we had our first and second guy get positive control left and right, I found myself getting stuck and putting myself in the fatal funnel and not pushing in far enough in the room behind my uh, my first man to make sure he didn't need me or need me to watch something else. So give yourself that that time to really evaluate what your room is like. You know, as a fire team lead, like, you're really excited because you want to see the action. You want to know what's going on. You want your guys to fucking follow behind you. Don't lead in front. Lead in middle. Push them in. That's why they're there. That's why your guys are there. Um, as far as, like, what you're watching... When you're in the stack, that's a huge thing I noticed. A lot of dudes are getting up inside of a stack, and then we're all just looking forward. Like, everyone's eyes are on what the fuck is in front of us. Like, I'm so excited to flood in through this gate and fucking get in this compound and start blasting motherfuckers in the face. And that's super fine. But if you want a positive stack, you need your second guy watching forward with your first. Your first man should have a 45-degree angle on their entrance. And then your third man's always watching high, right? He's watching high. He's looking outwards. He's looking for incoming enemy on sides. Your fourth man's got your rear. And if you have a fifth, you know, obviously bounce those numbers back and address accordingly. Um, aside, dude, I mean, really, that's that's all I could see. But that's just the real stuff. You know what I mean? 
and I know not everyone in here is like active. I'm not some fucking like special ops operator, but this is this is what I've learned from doing shit for a while. And if you start applying these to this mode right here, you might see some like way better fucking experiences. Because I mean, let's be honest, like there is moments when there's cluster fucks, right? Like we we all can agree on that. Yeah.